I thought I was going out for a simple go home test and see how close it came to the target, but it didn't come home, and this might be something you want to learn right after quote of the day. Yep, I thought I was going out just to do a simple little video on how close it was going to come to the go home target, but I had a little bit of a knee shaker, especially for a new guy, and it all started on takeoff. But first I want to go through uh, what I think is a little discrepancy with the manual and what the Evo is going to do. And once again, appreciate it if you'd go ahead and subscribe, follow the little guy. But anyway, I'll do voiceovers where needed. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so what I'm going to do with this right now is I'm gonna take this up to 10 feet, take it 10 feet away, and then I'm going to initiate the go home. Now, I believe that it should descend where it is. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're about 13 feet. And it says that it's 10 feet away. Now I'm going to initiate go home. There's go home. And it's going right to altitude. And that is not what the manual says. The manual says that it should descend. 10 feet away. Right now. It's 10 feet over, over, uh, over the pad. It's right over, and I'm going to hit home. I'm going to hit home. Go home now. And it climbs right to altitude when it's right next to me. All right, so let's jump into what happened here really quick. All I was trying to accomplish was to see that if it, if it was in a close proximity to the home point, would it descend? Because the first time that I went out with the Evo, the very first time that I had stayed up the night before and read the manual, because I was scared to death I was going to have this thing take off on me, uh, I remembered it saying something about that if you're within a certain amount, it'll descend. Obviously, that's not what's happened. Let me read from the manual for a second, if you'll bear with me. Uh, smart flight features, go home. The go home function can be enabled only when a good GPS signal is available. Now, here's something about that, and for you Evo folks, I don't know about you, but when I first start this up, it automatically right away tells me, no matter what, that I have a weak GPS signal. So if you find out something different or you're the same, go ahead and put it down in the comments down below. But I had, by the time I took off, everything was green. I had full bars. Everything was cooking. And uh, 15 to 17 satellites, I think, or whatever. But this is the part that I wanted to read to you. So um, if the go home function is activated within a 10 meter, which is 30 feet, uh, depending on what part of the world you're from, uh, radius of the home point, the aircraft will automatically descend and land. All right, that's obviously not what happened. So that's why I did that test because I thought I had done something wrong. Like I said, if you know something different, go ahead and let me know down in the comments uh, or go out and try it yourself. I'd really like to know. On another point to the kind of the same area, I did take it down to 15% and to see whether it lands. And as soon as it hit 15%, boom, it went and landed. So directly where it was. So that may become... A point for you flyers, pilots, uh, maybe when you're over water and stuff and you're trying to push that 15% to get the last shot. I know how it is. I know how it is. Um, so something to keep in mind. Now, here's a point. When I did some tests on letting it descend and I went and hit mashed the um, pause button, it took anywhere from 10 to 20 feet for that to actually stop and pause. So when I pushed it and held it 10 to 15 feet, 
So um, if you want to stop it immediately, the best way that, that I've found, and test this out yourself, is to go ahead and push the stick forward to make it ascend, and it kind of will override the landing, and um, then you can go ahead and push the button. But if you're within five feet, I would go ahead and do the stick thing, but test it out yourself. Now, the reason I went out this day was to, I had heard a bunch of things about that the um, Evo wouldn't come back and hit the target, and it was because of this, and it was because of that, so I decided to go ahead and test it out myself. And that's all I was going to do. But we'll jump into the video here, and I'll voice over or jump in when I have to to explain some stuff. But right from the beginning, I was having problems just taking off. I mean, if you watch, it keep, it doesn't want to. I got up to about two feet, and it wouldn't go any further. And hang in there because you're going about to see why. And to tell you the truth, you're going to see, um, or I'll tell you, when I got all the way down field with it, and luckily I hadn't lost sight of it, um, I went and got, hit home, and it just sat there, never rotated, never came back, didn't move. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the video and see what we got so far. So for the first of these three flights, uh, the first three flights are going to be just to see whether it can come back to the home point. Uh, right now I have 15 satellites, and I'm gonna take it up to about 15, 20 feet, let it sit for 10, 15 seconds, fly it down range and up to 300 feet, turn it around a couple of times, and then initiate the go home and see exactly what happens. And that's about it, that's all I'm doing. So I wanna make sure that the camera is set up. I'm gonna be fully auto, 4K and 30 frames a second. Go ahead and start it. And right away it says, warning, GPS signal weak. Now, I don't know how the GPS signal can be weak because I've got 15 satellites, and I'll check it again. Uh, 17 satellites, and everything's full bars. So I don't understand why it keeps saying that over and over again. Okay, so we are on record. All right, so I'll walk you through this. What I saw right then was, is the Evo went up to about one foot. I had to push it, press it. I had to do all kinds of stuff to try to get it above this altitude, and it was kept stumbling over itself. So I went back out, and you can see here, I landed it right away, and I thought, well, maybe there's something smudged or something sitting on top of the lens, and went back and tried to clean it off. Okay, so let's try it again. So I tried again, and you can actually see it hesitate there for a second, and then up, and I thought, man, no way, I'm bringing this thing right back down because the last thing I wanted to do was have some kind of crazy flyaway. So I brought it back and landed it, and you can see I went out and I thought, okay, I'll put it back in the center and I'll recycle the battery. And that's what I did. And I went and I went back and I took off again. Okay, I wanted to say this while it is returning home and it's kind of slow right now. It hasn't turned around, and I think it's because, I could be wrong, but that the sun is directly over top and pointing right into the upward sensors. So right now it's over top, descending. It looks like it's a little bit to the left, and it's going to land right on top of the GoPro camera. All right, just so you don't get any a little confused, nope. uh, when I sent it downfield, I just went and jumped ahead to when it came back. So that's actually what you're seeing here is the first landing. Well, whatever it is, you definitely can't say that it wasn't any more accurate than that. That's pretty cool. So that did a pretty good job. That was all four on. So let's give it one more try. So I decided to give it another try, and yes, it did hesitate a little bit on takeoff, but I was being pretty cautious about it and didn't take it too far downrange. Just for your reference, 
Um, it is a little bit left to your view. And it does look like it's adjusting. And once again, that is all four on. So that's all four on. I'm still getting a signal that there is something above it. And I think what it's seeing again is the sun. So one more shot here, we'll see what happens. Now, I am letting this sit here for a little bit and seeing whether it can get an even better uh, fix on it. I don't see how I can ask for any more than hitting the spot. So well, let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, so it was still stuttering, and when I took it downrange this time, uh, I brought the camera down, and when I landed it, I actually had the gimbal pointing straight down, so that was a big difference with this run. It does not want to go up, that's for sure. I'm going to swing it around, now try to push it up. It just, there you go. Now it's going up. So I have a feeling it has to do with the sensor, so I'm going to take it up to 300 feet and hit home. Okay, it looks a little left right now. Still looks left. Still looks left. And I am not going to let it land because I don't want to get... All I did is push the stick up. Okay, now the only thing, it was off about five feet to the left. The only thing I did that was different is I had the camera directly down when it was coming home. So this time I'm going to, fourth time, I wasn't planning on this, but just to see if there's a difference, I'm going to let the camera all the way up and see what happens. All right, stop the tape. That's probably where I should have stopped flying um, to see what was going wrong, but I was kind of sure that it was the sun. Now, um, remember that the sun is directly above. So when I took off this last time, and I'll describe it just because you don't need to see the video, but the um, I took off and it did hesitate as it went up. I took it down range, um, maybe about a football field worth, where I could see it plainly and initiated the go home at somewhere around 100 feet or something like that. And it started, I thought it started to climb and it didn't. It just sat there. Of course, my heart went dun -dun 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 -dun. and I started to panic a little bit and I hit ascend to go up. It didn't budge. I hit descend. It didn't budge. I went to rotate it. It didn't budge. And finally, I hit it to slide it left or right. And when I did that, I think what happened is by doing that, it tilted the lens. So it wasn't pointing right to the sun right above me. And it started to slide right. And when it did that, it started to gain altitude again. So that even further made my mind up that it was the sun giving it this type of problem. Because I flew it later on in the day and I didn't seem to have any problem. But we'll go out and check it again. Uh, turned around and came home and I think it hit the target with two feet off or something like that or real close, that close to it. Um, so I consider that a good check that it's going to get home. Uh, it definitely gets off a little bit if you don't let it hover first, I think. Uh, but anyway, uh, one more test I did that day was to see how long, if I mashed the pause button, how long it took to stop the descent of the aircraft. Now, when I did it from high up in altitude, it seemed like it took about 20, but let's see on this cut how quick when it was closer to the ground, how long it took, because it may be something you wanna consider uh, when you do hit that pause button. So let's check that out real quick. So it's at 97 feet and thinks there's something above it and it's coming back down. So I am going to hit the pause button 
at 20 feet and hold it. And so it took about 10 feet for that to stop from the time I did it. So it has canceled now. All right, so that was kind of cool. So just some information for you that uh, when you hit that pause button, it's not gonna stop right away. If you need to stop it right away, from what I can gather, like I say, go out and test all this stuff yourself. But if you use the uh, ascend or descend stick, that's gonna automatically cancel or override that landing. Um, it won't cancel it, but it will override it for a second and you can then end up remashing the cancel button if that's what you wanna do. Anyway, a bunch of stuff there. Uh, one thing to think of, you know, if it gets down range from you and you're gonna go fly with the sun right above you, this may be a problem, not sure. Let me know once again, I said that in, in, down in the comments because I'm kind of curious about this whole thing. I'm gonna do some more testing with it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna do a bunch more of these. Uh, I do leave in a week from now to go guide some folks storm chasing. So we're gonna go out and hunt for some, some tornadoes. I'm gonna take the drone with me. So I'll have drone footage. I'll be doing more photography stuff then. Please follow the uh, little robot guy. Whatever you do, just hit the like button. That helps out a lot. <clears throat> Um, anyway, that's it. I hope you guys are having a safe, look at, let's talk about safe days, man. Look at my hair. I got my COVID-19 haircut, man, compared to a lot of other videos. Uh, anyway, you guys, uh, like I always say, my camera's, uh, my best excuse for adventure. I hope it is uh, part of your adventure. Have a great day. If you're ever in Kennett Square, please stop by the gallery. Give me a heads up and I'd love to talk to you later.